Perfect. I'm here with Eddie Massoud. How are you, Eddie? Uh, excellent tonight, Connie. I'm looking at you. I couldn't be happier. Oh, my God. I, you know, I need my waiting boots for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> but what a wonderful evening tonight. Yes, it is. And tell me why you're here. Well, I'm here to support IFRA and uh, the, the Nebraska and just the whole association. That's wonderful. Carrie Liebensberger and Irv Blumkin are being inter, uh, being honored tonight. And what an exciting thing to count. Do you know approximately how many people might be here tonight? I think there's going to be about 1,200. Yes. What I understand that we're at least 1,000, maybe 1,200. It's a big deal. We're excited. All right. Now, Mr. Uh, Masood has Thomasville stores in the Jersey, New York area. That's correct. That's right. And we're just happy to have him here tonight. If you had words of wisdom for a rep, what would it be? Love what you do, service your retailer, and um, help them grow. Honest, that's wonderful. Words of wisdom, listen up. Thank you. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're here tonight with Pal Slaughter of Furniture Today. And I know that you're probably taking pictures yes. and interviewing, but yes. tell me what you're finding out when you're talking to people. Well, um, I think people are pretty excited about what's going on these days. Um, business has been a little up and down, you know, th through the start of the year, but um, all the indicators are right for our industry. And um, I think people are excited. And um, this market, there's been a lot of really great product. Um, I've been very excited about what I've seen. And, um, you know, I think it bodes well for uh, moving ahead. You know, it's always exciting to get a positive report on the market, and no one better than a reporter like Powell Slaughter. Thank you so much. You bet. Always nice seeing you, Connie. <laughs> Bye. All right. We're here tonight with the honoree, Irv Blumpkin of Nebraska Furniture Mart. And uh, just tell us how you're feeling tonight, Irv. I'm feeling humbled and very proud and it's a fun experience and it's really nice to be with the IFRA group and be recognized with all the representatives that are here. You know, um, you've been in this business for a while. You're third generation. We've known each other a long time. So if you had some words of wisdom for a sales rep that's on the road, a new one, what would you suggest to him or words of wisdom from daddy? What would it be? Get to know your customer, be a partner in their business, figure out what works in the particular area, and you'll do great. Now, you've been in, I mean, seriously, now how many stores do you guys have now? We have uh, three Nebraska Furniture Marts, and then we have a sister company, Homemakers, in Des Moines, Iowa. That's awesome. Well, we're glad that we can be here tonight to celebrate with Irv, my friend, and I love him like a brother. I maybe love a, her, too. Maybe a boyfriend. I don't know. We can't go there. Bye-bye. We've been there. <laughs> Thanks, Irv. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pull this handsome man in. Tell everybody what your name is and where you work. Uh, my name is Benjamin Horch, and I'm with uh, Kasana Furniture. Now, I knew that, but maybe not everybody out in the crowd tonight knows who you are. So, um, you probably, how many reps do you guys have in your organization? We have about 23 to 25 uh, reps currently. That's awesome. And if you were having a new rep come into your organization, what would you tell them the most important things that they can do when they're servicing an account? Well, first of all, they need passion for the job that they're doing and the product they sell. And then they really have to really make sure they follow up on the things they tell an account. In fact, one of our reps is being honored tonight. I didn't know that. Who is that? Harrison Rose. Oh my goodness, congratulations, Harrison Rose. He works for Kasana Furniture and some other accounts. Well, that's fabulous. I want to say thank you, Ben, for being over here and sharing your words of wisdom that I'm sure that everybody needs to know. And even the guys that have been on the road for a while, they might need to have a, a, a little shot of remembrance while you're out there. You bet. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you, Connie. Oh my goodness, one more handsome man. Would you mind sharing your name and who you work with? Frank Lorenzo, and I work with Michael Amini, Parker House, and uh, Ken Wybe. Oh, that's wonderful. Now tell me, I think you were last year's president. Is that true? Uh, this past year I was the president, and this year I was the chairman, and I'm on my way out. Oh, my goodness. Well, you've, you've given a lot of time to IFRA, and I know it's an important organization, or you would not have uh, spent this much time. So tell me, why is it important to you? 
it's important because I believe that we need to unite the industry in order to have the uh, manufacturers and retailers more in synergy. And once we accomplish that, uh, we will continue to have these wonderful events where last night City Hope had like 1,300 people. Tonight we're going to have about 1,000. Oh, so wow. I, think, I think it's important. And the more we have people want to come, the more we feel that it's important to continue to share information and just network, really. That's awesome. Now, you've been on the road for kind of uh, quite a while now. And what words of wisdom would you give your little brother if he were coming out and being a rep today? Well, I, I, the words of wisdom are the same ones I give my three boys that work with me and my daughter, which is, you know, which 12 hours of the day do you want to work is really the name of the game. Just visit customers uh, and host them as much as you can and really try to merchandise and help them progress in their business. If you do that, you know, they'll come back to you all the time. That's wonderful. And I think that understanding and, and loving these people where they are and getting to know them is an important factor. I've always been big on relationships. Um, and so I think that relationships are important and always looking out for the factory as well as a retailer. That's it's the awesome. most important thing. Thank you. That is so awesome. And thank you for all your service for EFRA. Absolutely. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, you know, the wonderful thing about me doing the red carpet for the IFRA Gala is the fact that I get to meet some new people. Now, I understand that I'm talking to the president of the New York chapter of Home Furnishings. New York and New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay, what is your name? Eric Bernstein. I'm the president of the Metropolitan Furniture Association of New York, New Jersey. Awesome. Now, this is your first year serving? This is my one and a half years I'm serving. Oh, how long did they make you stay there? Is that a five-year term? It is a two-year term. <laughs> but they told me it was only going to be two and a half in the beginning. <laughs> so tell me, um, what is it that you like? Uh, why are you here tonight? That's a better question. Well, I'd have to say that uh, I'm here for Tommy Leftline because Tommy and my family go back three generations. I'm one of the oldest uh, family businesses in New York and New Jersey. We're in business since 1903. Oh, my goodness. Yes. That's a long time. So what would you tell a younger self uh, being on the road now that, you know, you've been in this business for a long time? So what would you tell a young rep today? Keep with it. It's going to change. There's uh, a new hope out there. That's awesome. That's awesome. I always love hope. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time tonight. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, la, la. It is Mr. Big himself at Furniture Today. And the ever beautiful Miss Connie Post. <laughs> Connie, who is the handsomest man on the red carpet here? Oh, now let me think about that. I would say that it would be you, but maybe the photographers who are taking our pictures. But definitely, I'm picking Irv Blumpkin. Excellent choice. <laughs> I have no question who the most beautiful woman on the red carpet is here tonight. Oh my gosh, thank you it very much. Absolutely you. Thank you. You know, I barely made it here tonight because of the rains. I nearly hydroplaned out there. And just coming in, my dress was soaked, my clothes were soaked, and my feet are so swollen that I cannot put on my elegant high heel shoes. But it's not flowing down your interviews. You've gotten everybody on the red carpet. Hey, right you know what? You were a little bit, I got competitive when I realized that you were pulling some people in over there. And I decided there is no way I'm going to let that guy. So I had people out talking, uh, some different retailers and important people to come over here on my behalf. If you think I'm going to lose, it's not happening. Well, we're going at it here on the red carpet, and all of you are the winners. Oh, uh, we are winners every night. IFRA is an amazing organization, and we are so thankful for the 1,000 people that are here tonight to celebrate the Rep Association. So thank you, guys. Congratulations to Kerry Liebensberger, Irv Blumkin, Mike Root, and IFRA. Oh, ooh la la. <laughs> You know, I have the pleasure tonight to speak to Mr. David Gunn of Knight Furniture in what city in Texas? Sherman, Texas. Sherman, Texas. Now, I've been to his store, and it is way down south down there. Now, talk. No, it's right after Dallas, isn't it? Right, I'm right up north. Yeah, right that's near right. the Red River. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot about it. You know, one Texan, you've seen one Texan. It's kind of hard to figure all this stuff out now. But she has been in my store. I have A been. couple of times. I know. And we just finished up his new uh, bedding department, which we're very excited about. So tell me, uh, David and his family were awarded NHFA's Retailer of the Year this past year, and he thinks he's old news, but you weren't. So tell me what that was, what that was like for you to be awarded that. Oh my goodness. Um, I can't tell you how humbling that is um, to have my peers 
you know, I, I've, there's been so many retailers that I have really admired that have been have won that award, have you know, have received that type of recognition, and to to be included in that crowd is it is unimaginable for me actually. You were right there with CSWO. Yes. The CSWO family, which is exactly another right. client of mine. So yes. I was proud of both of you. It was very, very nice. It was wonderful. And I've got to tell you, you know, we start someone, Steve Kidder, um, started riffing on um, Guns and Woes because my last name is Gun Woes, as if Guns and Roses. And so I had some T-shirts made um, that are like a, a rock and roll T-shirt, uh, Guns and, and Woes. <laughs> Yeah. This is awesome. You're going to have to send me one of those, David. That yeah. would be delightful. So yeah. I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of the fact that they did win. I'm also just like him as a friend. He's a wonderful man. Thank you for being here tonight supporting EFRA. You know what? I'm involved with HFA, and part of, of my responsibility at HFA has been to reach out and form a closer bond with IFRA. And so that's why I'm here, and I love the IFRA organization. So uh, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. Thank you so much for giving us some of your valuable time. Thank you, David. Thank you. All right. You know what? I just pulled another handsome man over here. Would you mind telling everyone what your name is and who you work with? I'm Ray Iser. I'm a past president of IFRA, and I work with A America, Ultra Comfort, and Home Elegance. Well, that's awesome. Now, can you tell us why you're here tonight? Well, I'm here to celebrate the uh, honorees. I've gone, known Carrie Liebensberger since 1978, and I can tell you a few stories. And most importantly, I'm very close friends with Tommy Leftline, oh. who's one of the greatest human beings in the business. I agree with you totally. Well, thank you so much for being here. Now, what would you tell a young rep today coming onto the road that they need to do? They need to keep changing and keeping up with the times. Okay, it's my privilege to be able to talk to a very handsome man that we just hooked and buttonholed and got him in here. And your name is? Uh, John ICL. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Emerald Home Furnishings. For which home furnishings? Em Emerald Home Furnishings. Oh, Emerald Home. What a great organization. So how long have you been a rep, a representative? Well, I'm Vice President of Sales, but I've been a rep on the road with Pulaski for many years. But now I'm VP of Sales for Emerald. And we're always trying to find some good reps out there that can... Uh, take over some territories for us. So we thought we wanted to join this great organization and be part of the, uh, of the uh, industry here. Okay, so if you were going to give some words of wisdom to a young rep, what would it be? Now, you're, you're interviewing people all the time. So what are you looking for in a good guy or a girl? Or a girl, and we want more women in this industry in sales. We want somebody who has a strong work ethic, rolls up their sleeves, has a game plan every day on who they're going to call on, what they're going to sell them. Uh, relationship building is so important, trying to build those relationships with dealers and, you know, dealers rather buy from friends than someone they don't know because they have trust in that person that they're not only going to work for the company they represent, but work for the company for them. Yeah. So we, uh, we, we, we will look at that. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much Thank for you, stepping Thank you, Connie. It was over. nice seeing you. Thank you. So I understand that you might be uh, getting an award tonight. An award tonight. The Legacy Award, but the bad thing is, I've only been with Ashley for 46 years. Oh my goodness, now I forgot to ask you right up front what your name is. Bill Munn with Ashley Furniture. 40, 46 years with Ashley. Same, same company. company. I will tell you, that is a stock. That's some kind of an award there by itself, huh? That's astonishing that you could put up with Ron Wanick that long. Ron's been there one year longer than I have. <laughs> Well, I know that Kerry Liebensberger is being honored, and he's a very good friend of mine. So that's two Ashleys tonight. Two, two of us. There's actually a third one that's getting another award, too, Samantha. Awesome. She's gonna, yeah, she's getting the, the Rookie of the Year Award. So we well, have three of us up there tonight. Oh, how uh, that is fabulous. And congratulations to Ashley for having three people tonight being honored, and especially thank you and we just congratulate you for 46 years with Ashley. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. But I've read about you for a long, long time. <laughs> uh, I really have been. You're always in there. Thank you. Sure. You're so cute. All righty. Here we are at IFRA, the gala tonight at the Four Seasons Hotel celebrating reps in the industry and we have about a thousand people here tonight and it's very exciting. So I would like to know what your name is and who you work for. Uh, Al David, and I work for Ashley Furniture, and I'm also the Vice President of IFRA. Oh, 
I had no idea. How silly of me. I had no idea you were. So does that mean that you might be president in the near future? Uh, the answer is yes. Next year, we'll be, I will become president next year. Oh, that's awesome. So tell me what this organization means to you. Well, IFRA is an organization that helps bring a lot of uh, reps together and provides them benefits so they can actually function as independent contractors. We're also working really, really well right now with uh, HFA, Home Furnishings Association, and working in alliance with them to help bring the industry closer together. Oh, that is awesome. That is worthy. Now, how long have you been a representative? Uh, I've been with IFRA a little over 10 years, and I've been on the board for the last three. That's awesome. Well, thank you for your service and your commitment to have a better organization. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we are here tonight honoring Herb Blumpkin, and I understand that you have called on him for how long? 45 years. Okay, what is your name? My name is Jerry Moen. And Jerry, who do you represent? Hillsdale Furniture. Hillsdale, I know that line. And I'm your original rep when they started 20 years ago. I was their first rep that Hillsdale hired. Oh, what a wonderful thing. Now, I know Irv, and he's pretty astute, and if you don't do what you say you're going to do, you're not going to be doing business with him. Well, I got to tell you what, their motto is, you know, to tell the truth, and I knew the grandmother, Mrs. B, that started it, and then I called on his father, Louie, and now Irv, and then his son, so I'm working on the fourth generation there, and they are probably one of the most finest families, the most honest family in this furniture industry. There's bar none. I agree with you totally. I did uh, Mrs. B's clearance center and designed that for her. She used to tell me that I was a smart woman. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, when Mrs. B first came to this country, she landed in my hometown of Fort Dodge, Iowa. And she had a daughter born there, and then she moved to Omaha. And my family kind of knew her parents back, but it goes back a lot of years for Mrs. B, for Grandma, Grandma B. And uh, I've just had a tremendous relationship with the whole Blumpkin family all these years. I mean, it's been a great experience. Well, I'm sure that Irv is very happy that you're here honoring him tonight. And thank you so much for taking time to speak with me. I want to thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. And you couldn't be honoring a finer family than the Blumpkins and especially Irv Blumpkin. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, thank you for stepping over and talking to me. What is your name? Steve Olson. And who do you work with, Steve? Uh, Home Insights, EQ3. All righty, I know exactly. Okay, all right. Now, I think you're here tonight to honor someone specific. Irv Blumpkin, great guy. Okay, now how many years have you been calling on him? 34 years. 34 years? Are you sure you're even old enough? Practically a rookie. <laughs> well, tell me the best thing about Irv Blumpkin. Uh, that people matter. It uh, People always matter to the whole Blumpkin family. Yeah, it uh, lines change, people are people. Yes. Well, I know that you must be an excellent rep, or you would not be still servicing Herb Blumkin after 31 years. I would like to hope so. Yes, I would think so too. So, what's important about Ephraim? Why are you here tonight? It supports uh, a community of reps. It's the it's the one thing in the industry where we all can come together, and in as a representative organization and it is so important to have a voice speak for us on the representative side uh, it's a it's a tremendous organization that helps look after us that's a wonderful thing and thank you so much and congratulations on all those years with our blumpkin thank you it is truly been a pleasure yes i know he's a wonderful man yeah, i love him guy, great i family. love him thank you yes. i understand that you like to talk leather so would you mind telling the crowds what your name is and who you work with? I'm Michael Campbell, CEO and President of Leather Italia USA. Now, how long have you held this position? Started the company November 20th of 1997. 87? 97. 97. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Those were not good years prior to that. So uh, that's an excellent thing. So uh, tell me, how many reps do you have in your organization? Uh, we currently have 52 reps, and that's primarily coverage uh, throughout North America. That's awesome. So why are you here tonight? We're here to support the, the event and contribute and recognize the hardworking folks that really drive this market and uh, are leaders. And it's just wonderful to recognize the retailers that are here and, and everyone that's put this together. I thank you for taking time and also for your support of the organization. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.
It's good to meet you. Good to meet you too. All righty, I was able to pull this good looking guy off the red carpet. What is your name and who are you with? Oh, stop it. <laughs> Bob Bruns, I'm president of Cozia. Okay, so we have president of Cozia. Now we know that that's a great chair line. And what's your best model of this market? Uh, we just introduced the Chi SE, which is um, arguably the best chair in the industry. Now, wouldn't you like Connie Post to be in your chair? I would love Connie Post to be in my chair. When are you going to come up? <laughs> and you all want to get out. <laughs> That's awesome. I really do need one of those chairs. So tell me, how many reps do you have in your organization? 32. 32. And uh, why are you here tonight? Well, I'm a past president of IFRA. I'm a past legacy winner. And I'm here to support all reps. And frankly, now that I'm a manufacturer, it's a whole different uh, position that I'm in. Uh, I love the industry. That's really the reason I'm here. That's awesome. We have to love what we do or we're not going to do it and we won't be happy people. So thank you so much for taking a moment to step over and chat with me. And Connie, thanks for everything you do. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Thank you. Tonight I have the privilege of talking to Brian Edwards of ART. And would you mind sharing with us what your position is there at ART? Look, uh, Connie, I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales. Alrighty, so you know about reps. I, yes, I, I was one, and I've been managing them for about 20 years. All right, so how many reps do you have at ART? We have 40. 40, okay, so if you were, if in your hiring process, what is it that you're actually looking for with a new rep today? Bandwidth and relationships. I'm sorry, the first one? Bandwidth. All right. The mind share to be in our showroom, um, but also the relationships with the, the key retailers in that territory. That's awesome. Now, how long have you been with ART now? Uh, going on 18 months. Alrighty, so this is a new adventure and this is exciting? Very exciting. Um, you know, the fact that we're full um, whole home, so and now this market we're in outdoor. So it's just very exciting to but still at attainable prices but at the high middle and start of the high. That's awesome. Well, I love it when companies expand and put some more products in, and this is exciting. You know I love you. We've been friends forever, and I thank you for taking time to speak oh, with us. Thank you so much, honey. Love you. Uh, tonight we're here with my good friend, Karen McNeil, and maybe you would share with the crowd what you're doing these days. Oh, I'm CEO of the American Home Furnishings Hall of Fame Foundation. That, that was a mouth, that's a mouthful. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> and you're here tonight to honor who? Well, you know, nothing happens in the home furnishings industry unless we sell furniture. And it all starts with the sales reps who sell the furniture to the retailers. So if we didn't have a very strong sales force, we wouldn't have a strong industry. They're all important. Yeah, and this, industry, uh, this organization, the IFRA organization, is such an important part of our industry, and you're right, nothing happens until something gets sold, and training them and supporting them is a, bit, is a very big deal. Now, uh, Karen and I both are uh, members of With It, and the, uh, we just had our Friday night uh, gala, the WOW Awards, of which we were both part of the, uh, the presentations, and that was an exciting thing to honor women in our industry. Well, you know, when, when I came into the industry, there were really no women unless they were the receptionist or they were the wife of the owner, but there were no female executives. So it's been very exciting for me through the years to see women rise up in the ranks. They're now presidents of companies. They're now in senior management positions. So, you know, there are many changes that have gone on in the industry, and that's just one of them. There are many women who are sales reps. That's true. And they're very good at selling furniture because they understand what the women want. That's exactly right. And so With It is an or organization that helps mentor and train and help uh, women that are trying to come up in the industry. And we have both been a part of it for many years. And Karen is an exa a tremendous example and model of someone to follow in her steps. And thank you so much, Karen. Thank you, Connie, for all you're doing. What do you want to talk about? Well, you know what? We can talk about anything you want to talk about, Ron. Oh, <laughs> Welcome, everyone. And I'm talking with Ron Wanick, CEO and uh, Board of Directors. No, 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 no. I'm Chairman of the Board. Chairman of the Board. Oh, yeah. God, you moved on up. Yeah, I'm one, only working half time now, about 50 hours a week. Well, that's a lot less than you used to, I know for sure. Now, I understand that you have several people in your organization that are being honored tonight. 
Yep, uh, Bill Munn, who's been with Ashley for 45 years, always done a fantastic job. Uh, for years and years, he was either number one or in the top five. And also Kerry Liebensberger, our president of sales. So this is really a great night for us and a great event. Obviously, it's a record crowd, I believe, so should be a wonderful, fun evening. I think so. Now, how many representatives do you have working about? Uh, over 500. Goodness, that's a large organization, but you are doing a tremendous amount of business throughout the world. We, we do over $5 billion in uh, wholesale sales. I remember way back when we were just trying to get up to that billion way back there. You got it. That <laughs> took a while, but we made it. And Of course, uh, I grew it to a, Todd, or to a billion. And that was in 2000, and Todd's grown it to $5 billion, so he's done a wonderful job. Well, you have a great team, and there's a great synergy there. And thank you so much for all that you do from the City of Hope, across the board for all the organizations, and for your work here with IFRA. Thank you for being here tonight. Well, thank you, Connie. Always a pleasure talking to you. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. All righty, I'm with my boyfriend, Jeff Cook, uh, Mr. CEO of ART. That's, that's Chief Energy Officer. Okay. Chief, somebody has to be energizing the troops. Now, how long have you been in that position, Jeff? This is my seventh year. Seven years. Oh, my goodness. Sooner so, or later, I'll get it right. And... <laughs> so tell me, how many representatives do you have in your organization? We have uh, 29 territories, and I think that's about 36 in the U.S., and we've got a whole team international. So before you became Mr. CEO, I know you used to be a representative on the road. Oh, I started the career off in the factory, and then was a sub rep, and then a rep, and exclusive rep with Rose. So, I think I've been through the entire journey, and I think that's what makes me appreciate this night and the purpose of the most because I've walked their shoes. So, what would you tell uh, your younger self on this side of life as a representative? What is it that you've learned, or maybe words of wisdom? You know, it's just really a work ethic. You know, understand your company learn your strengths, know the product line, and it's all about supporting the customer, but it's train, 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 and it's a work ethic. It's surprising, um, you know, the reps out there who really work and are students of their craft really excel, and the ones that just kind of milk it and, you know, take Friday afternoons off and not interesting and taking a call on, on Saturday, you know, it seems funny how their numbers just Disappear. Aren't there? Yeah, just appear. <laughs> I want to thank you so much. Jeff and I have been friends for a long time, and thank you so much for giving us some of your time yeah, tonight. It's good thank to you. see you. It's great to be thank here. You. All right, I'm here with my girlfriend, Mary Fry, and she is with the, uh, let's tell everybody who you're with. I'm with the Home Furnishings Association. And your role there is what? I'm the executive vice president, and we are being indispensable to retailers all across the country. Well, you know, that's important to <laughs> think you're indispensable. That's a very big statement for a little girl. Well, I'm from Texas, don't you know? That's We talk big. <laughs> well, tell me about IFRA and what it means to you. IFRA um, represents all the people with the feet on the ground, the boots on the ground. They're in the stores every day of the people that we try to do a great job of helping them be more successful and profitable. So we love reps. In fact, I love reps so much that I married one that I met at the Dallas market 36 years ago. I'm a big fan of reps. <laughs> That is awesome. Thank you, Mary. Now, this is my girlfriend, and we travel to Paris and do oh, some yes. other, you know, wonderful events, and I love her dearly. She's also another with it uh, woman in the industry and a proud supporter of that as well. So thank you, Mary. We appreciate You're you lucky. greatly. You look gorgeous, Connie. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love this man. Michael, 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 I'm meanie. You now, don't embarrass me. Oh, don't. Oh, you cannot. You me. cannot be embarrassed. <laughs> Mr. Amini, the chairman of the board, CEO, what is your title? Uh, I'm the hardest working person. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff I'm Cook just, just told me he was chief energy officer at his company. Well, um, they say I'm the CEO, yeah. but we don't have any title inside the company. 
Well, what I do know is that Michael Amini came here to this country uh, a while back with not a lot and started uh, making furniture in a garage, as I remember, a long time ago. And here he is, uh, the originator, the, the brain trust, and the creator of all that goes on with uh, um, ICO, which is a wonderful thing, and we appreciate that. How many reps do you have in your organization? Uh, close to 55. So tell me what it is about this night that's important to you. First of all, they have done an outstanding job. I, uh, I believe in this type of gathering in the industry that brings everybody together, network, and while we uh, compete outside, here yeah, everybody is relaxed, they talk together, and they exchange ideas, and it's wonderful. There's only a couple of uh, gatherings that I can uh, you know, tell you about and yes. is uh, IFRA right here, City of Hope, and of course the Hall of Fame. And then Friday night. Friday night. Uh, the Wow Awards, Mr. Amini was Val there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, the Wow Awards. Wow Awards. Oh, the Val with it. <laughs> the With It organization, which he's a supporter and was there on Friday night, so thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank so you. Thank you for being and here. And I was there, by the way. I know, I know. You're <laughs> such a doll, baby. I love him dearly. He's a great man. And thank you for your support for being here, too. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. having you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bob Marisich with International Market Centers. This is Mr. Big. That's all I can say. I've known you forever. I knew him before he was president and CEO. Oh, you were CEO of Century way back? Yes, I was. That's what that I was, was a long time ago, though. That was a long time ago. Hard but, to believe. But you know what? We've both been around a while, and we've both seen some changes. Yes. One thing that doesn't change is the importance of these reps in our business. That's exactly and right. And right at the center of making things happen. And so that's, I mean, that's why I'm here to celebrate you know, they're these great people that are an important part of the industry. Well, I heard someone say earlier that they were the boots on the ground for our industry. They are. They are at a critical juncture where consumers are sitting there and they need help. It's got to come through these guys and these professional women. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm very proud of the fact that my whole career has been within the home furnishings industry in all the years uh, that I've been here and all the great friends and a lot of the reps who have grown up and now they're CEOs of different companies. It's amazing when you've been around for a while. Well, they, they know how they, they have to take care of the customer. Yes. You take care of the customer and good things happen. That's exactly right. Well, thank you very much for being here. And I want to thank you also for being such a big supporter for With It and uh, for Friday night, your attendance and being there and helping us out with that organization. It's all a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks, Connie. Do you know that handsome men come in all sizes? And right now, I am just with one of the cutest men that are here today. So would you mind telling everybody what your name is and who you're with? Mike Cohen with Walker Furniture in Las Vegas, Nevada. So this is a retailer who understands the need for good reps. And would you tell us what's important to you as a, for a good rep? Number one would be how good they are at being consultative, teaching me how to improve my business, and telling me what others are doing and what things I should be buying that I'm not. Okay, that's awesome. That's, I mean, listen up everyone, as a rep, you need to be paying attention to what retailers are looking for, and that was a mouthful. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 that's <laughs> perfect, I appreciate it. And how long have you been at Walker now? You're new. Yes, joined them six months ago um, from the other side of the fence, so I had the pleasure of working with great reps. Um, just at Coaster alone, who's one of the honorees tonight, George Huggins, sensational salesman. He is a sensational guy, and we're really happy to honor him tonight, and most importantly, I'm so glad to have such a handsome man right here as Arm Candy. <laughs> Ooh la la! <laughs> Alrighty, I have just been introduced to this wonderful man. Would you mind sharing with everyone your name? Absolutely. I am Luis Ruesga from Suo Modern. From? Suo Modern. Oh, alrighty. So tell me, uh, what is it and why are you here tonight uh, to support EFRA? Well, first of all, to say thank you to the industry, thank you to the Herb from Nebraska Furniture Mart, who is a wonderful customer who has been a mentor in this industry. and. Obviously, to say congratulations to the reps who are for the wonderful work, for all the things that they do for all of us, the manufacturers, you know, to get better. 
So this is awesome. Well, it's really cool to have such a snappy dresser here with me tonight. He Thank might you. win the uh, fashion award. I'm, I'm ready for that. So. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> I hope it comes with a $50,000 check of too. Course. Okay, of absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I you love know. This woman. I lo <laughs> the furniture industry I'm not too crazy about, but her I love. <laughs> I have known Martin for so long, and he is just such a wonderful man. And you have to know that he had, well, I have to wear waiters when I'm around him. <laughs> you, you know, I've seen you around waiters. Yeah. <laughs> they all love you. <laughs> now tell everyone who you're with and why you're here tonight. I'm Martin Ploy. I'm with ICO. And uh, I'm here because of IFRA, the great sales folks that are here, the professionalism. Uh, and this is where the industry grows and grows, right here. Well, it's a wonderful thing. I think we have record-breaking crowds tonight. I think you do, too. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, and thank you so much to, for being here and for being such a good friend to Billy and I and for just being a wonderful man. Everybody loves you. Oh. I feel fortunate to be one of them. <laughs> thank you. He told me to be kind to him. Please. <laughs> I'm very shy, and I'm not very good on the, with the microphone. Now, uh, would you mind telling everybody what your name is and who you work with? Chuck Riley. I'm the executive vice president of ICO with Michael Amini. And you also serve as president of something else? Of uh, the City of Hope, and uh, uh, what a fantastic uh, group the IFRA people have been to supporting City of Hope for all the years. We really appreciate it. It's been great. Now, Chuck and, and I you, young lady have been a real stellar supporter of City of Hope, and we yes. appreciate you. I, you know, being a board member is a wonderful thing, but we appreciate everyone's efforts there because it is a group effort. It is. Now, you have how many reps in your organization? We have 40 reps in our organization. <laughs> and Hang around and I'll interview you, baby. <laughs> yeah, obviously anybody can get on this TV show here. <laughs> if I can. No. So, um, you think this organization is important for what reason? This organization brings, first of all, there's not enough events. that Look at how many people are here tonight. It brings everybody together, but it, 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 puts an, it underscores the importance of representation in the field and supporting our retail base, and without our, our repping organizations, that could never happen. Yeah, and that's absolutely true. So we're here tonight at this gala uh, to be honoring all of the people uh, at, that are the boots on the ground. It's been said several times tonight and honoring them. So thank you very much for being here with Connie, me. Thank you, and thank you for everything you do. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Thank you. So tonight we're with Mr. Steve Riley of Nebraska Furniture Mart, and I understand this is a pretty big night for your organization. Absolutely, and it's really well deserved by Earl Blumpkin. He's the uh, the best merchant I've met in my entire career, and I've been in the furniture business for 40 years. So it's really exciting. It is exciting. Now, how long have you been with the Nebraska Furniture Mart? 11 years. 11 years, and I understand that you're thinking about going fishing soon. In a little bit over a year and a half, yes. Yes, well, I understand. I'm a little bit envious that he thinks he can hang up his uh, boots and uh, just not work every day. So uh, that's a problem for me. Well, it could be a temporary situation. You never know. Oh, that's true. It could be. Oh, surprise secrets tonight. We learned never some. Know. <laughs> but I'm going to spend a lot of time playing golf with my wife. Oh, that's awesome. So tell me, why are you here besides honoring uh, Earth? What is it about IFRA that's important to you? I have a lot of great friendships in the industry, and I have a, get a lot of information and some contacts. And uh, I've been in this industry since 1979, and it means a lot to me. That's awesome. And, and, you know, I appreciate your friendship. I've known you for a long time. And thank you for all that you do in the industry and just being here tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.